Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find slope from a graph by counting units. And remember, slope measures the steepness of a line. So how much a line goes up or down as it moves from left to right. We will go through four examples together and then you'll try some practice problems on your own. Let's jump into number one, where we need to find the slope of the line graphed on the coordinate plane. Now looking at the line, notice that the line is moving upward as it's moving from left to right. This is what we call a positive slope. As far as finding the slope, slope equals the rise over the run. So the vertical change over the horizontal change. Basically, we're looking at how fast is this line moving upward as it moves from left to right. When finding slope, we use any two points on the line. It doesn't matter which two. We will get the same slope. So let's use this point right here and this point right here. We need to figure out how far up and how far over we go between these two points. We're going to move from the left point to the right point. We go up one unit, two units, three units to align with the other point. That's our rise, the vertical change. Then we go over one unit, two units, three units, four units to get to the other point. So that's our run, the horizontal change. So slope equals, and I'm using M for slope here. We can use M to represent slope. So slope equals rise over run. And now we can plug in our rise and run. The rise is three. The run is four, and this is our slope. Three over four, three fourths. The slope tells us that this line goes up three units for every four units it goes to the right. Now before moving on to number two, I do want to go over how any other two points will work as well. So if we pick this point right here, and this point right here, let's see what the slope will be. Well, we go up one unit, two units, three units, so our rise here is three, and then we go over one unit, two units, three units, four units, so our run is four. We end up with the same slope. But what if we pick this point right here and this point right here? Well, the rise is one unit, two units, three units, four units, five units, six units to align with that point. So the rise is six. And then our run, well, one unit, two units, three units, four units, five units, six units, seven units, eight units. So our run is eight. So slope equals our rise was six and our run was eight. So we end up with a slope of six over eight, six eighths. So did we get a different slope? The answer is actually no. This is the same slope because when it comes to slope, we want to look to simplify any fractions and six eighths can be simplified. 6 eighths is actually equivalent to 3 fourths. As far as simplifying, 6 and 8 have a common factor of 2 that we can divide by. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So we get that slope of 3 fourths. Let's try some more examples and move on to number 2. Taking a look at number two, notice that this line is moving downward from left to right. This is what we call a negative slope. So let's find the slope. Again, slope equals rise over run. 
So let's find the rise and run here. So we need to pick any two points. Let's pick this point and this point. Let's start with the rise, the vertical change. So looking from the left point to the right point here, we need to go down from the left point to align with the right point. We go down one unit, two units. And since we went down, our rise is negative. This is negative two. That's our vertical change. Now for the run, we go over one unit, two units, three units, four units, five units in order to get to the other point. So our run, the horizontal change, is five. And that's a positive five since we moved to the right. Now we can plug in our rise and run here. Our rise is negative two and our run is five. This is our slope. And this fraction is in simplest form, so we are done. Negative two over five, negative two fifths. The slope tells us that this line goes down two units for every five units it goes to the right. And just to check, let's use this point and this point to see if we get the same thing. So our vertical change here is one unit, two units down, so negative two here. And then our run, the horizontal change, we go one unit, two units, three units, four units, and five units. So our run is five. Let's move on to number three. Now let's take a look at number three, where we have another example of a negative slope. This line is moving downward from left to right. So let's find the slope. So slope equals rise over run. Let's write this out again in order to get this down. And now let's find the rise and the run. We'll use this point right here and this point right here. Let's start with the rise and we're going to go down in order to align with the other point. So starting here, we go down one unit, two units, three units, four units, five units, six units. So our rise, the vertical change, is negative six since we went down. Now we need our run, the horizontal change, and we only go over one unit here, and we went to the right, so this is a positive one. So our run is one. So let's write our slope here. So our slope equals the rise, negative six, and the run, one. So our slope, negative six over one. That slope tells us that this line goes down six units for every one unit it goes to the right. Now, something to keep in mind here, since the denominator is one, we can also write this slope as just negative six. Either of these will work and mean the same thing. Keeping the fractional form makes the rise and run a little more clear, but we will also see slope written as just an integer. So if you ever see the slope written as just an integer, so no fraction, the run is one. Lastly, let's move on to number four. Taking a look at number four, we have a line with a positive slope. It's moving upward as it's moving from left to right. Let's find the slope. So slope equals rise over run. So let's find the rise and the run here. So we'll use the two points we are given, this point right here and this point right here. So we'll go from the left point to the right point. Let's start with the rise. We go up one unit, two units, three units, four units, five units, six units, seven units, eight units, nine units, 10 units. So our rise, the vertical change is 10 and that's a positive 10, we went up. Now for the run, we go over one unit, two units, 
three units. And that's a positive three since we went to the right. So our run, the horizontal change is three. So our slope here is 10 over three, 10 thirds. That tells us that this line goes up 10 units for every three units, it goes to the right. So there are our four examples. Time for you to try some practice problems on your own. So have paper and a pencil ready. Here are your practice problems. Find the slope of each line. I'll give you two minutes and then we will go over the answers. Go ahead and start. Okay, so that was two minutes. Let's go over the answers. So here are our answers. For number one, the slope is one half. The rise is one and the run is two. For number two, the slope is negative four over one. Or we can write this as just negative four. The rise is negative four and the run is one. Moving on to number three, the slope is five thirds. The rise is five and the run is three. And then lastly, for number four, the slope is negative two sevenths. The rise is negative two and the run is seven. So there you have it. There's how to find slope by counting units. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.